Um, this light is so dark. Real talk, you guys. It seems a bit dark. It's probably because it's nighttime, but we're rolling with it. Let's go. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, besties, and welcome back. Today we are doing part two, okay, of our Chanel fragrances that I, oh my God, I can't talk. Already this close in the video, you can't talk. Today we are doing part two of my Chanel fragrances that I feel everyone should at least get a whiff of or that are my favorites and i am sharing them with you today here on this channel i do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle all things fancy and fabulous darlings so if that sounds like something that you'd want to be a part of or that you'd be into stop what you're doing drop me your scent of the day i want to hear from you i want to know what you're rocking today also if this seems like your vibe or your zhush go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button don't stop there. Make sure you come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. I'm gonna repeat this. If you guys seen part one, it was really supposed to be a full video. However, the camera cut off and did its own thing, okay? So I made it a part two. But if you did not see part one, I'm gonna link it in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And if you have, we're gonna continue with the same thing. It was so nice to see so many red hearts in the comment section of all the people who enjoys Chanel just as much as I do. So if you are a huge Chanel lover, go ahead and put a huge red heart, or I guess there's only one size heart, but put a few hearts in the comment section so I know that I'm amongst other Chanel lovers. All right, you guys, I wanna say this I have a ton of Chanel body oils I look over here because they're all over here body oils body lotions body everything like that right I'm gonna do another video a part three because I'm just thinking there's gonna be more Chanel on the channel dwelling but I want to say this if you are using Chanel fragrances and you just want to buy a one-and-done lotion that complements very very well and that is just lightly scented with the scent I would highly recommend this one right here. Everything is going to be linked in the description box for you below. No need to worry. This here is the Chanel body cream and it is so good. It is so rich. It is so smooth. It is so creamy. It is absolutely everything. I use this all the time. It's lightly scented. It goes with any of the Chanel fragrances. If you smell it, it doesn't necessarily have like a huge scent, but it gives off a Chanel DNA. It's very moisturizing, it's very hydrating. This right here really packs in and locks in the moisture. So I would highly recommend this. With Valentine's Day coming up as well, this would make for an amazing gift. I also have a question. If you would like to see my top 10 accessories from Chanel, or fragrance, or just, you know, gad, not bags, not shoes, not clothes, none of that kind of stuff, but accessory type things from Chanel. Leave it in the comment section below. I can make that happen. One that I'm gonna start with that's newer to my collection is this one here. This is Paris Paris. I have a full dedicated video on my channel to this fragrance and it is absolutely beautiful. I have the body lotion as well as the fragrance and I slept in this a few nights ago. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared that with you. You guys, this is beautiful. This is not gonna give off your typical Chanel DNA. It does have the Chanel I would say, uh, what would you say? Realm, or it would be in the Chanel realm, but it's different. It's pretty. It's the, along the lines of a Prada Paradox, a Burberry Her, or like Chanel, um, the one in the pink one, the Otondra. It's along that realm, but it's really, really good. It has some pink pepper. It opens with citrus, damask rose. It's patchouli. It's classic. It's timeless. It's pretty. It's feminine. It's girly. It's signature scent worthy. You cannot go wrong with Perry Perry from Chanel. I move on. And if I sound like I'm sick, <laughs> I'm beating something. I don't know what it is, but I'm beating something. I was out in the rain. Just, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not letting it. I'm not going there. Anyways, um, Another one that's simply beautiful, Chanel Gabrielle. Whether it's Chanel Gabrielle Intense or whether it is the original white floral, beautiful Chanel, perfect for spring, summer. This is a classic way to go. It's a classic white floral. It's a beautiful fragrance. It opens up with a little bit of citrus. It has some woody notes in it, jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, 
black currant, it's sandalwood, it's musk. This is a signature scent in my opinion. It is very signature scent worthy, very work appropriate, very anytime, anywhere, any place, every day, easy reach, pretty girl. You know, all the things of this fragrance can just be attributed to that because it just gives you like a one and done. It's a really easy reach. The only con I would say is that this does not have the best longevity. Now I would say that the Gabrielle Intense does offer a little bit more depth, but I wouldn't say it's gonna give you a crazy longevity or sillage either. Neither one of them do. So if you want something more on the lighter side, but still a Chanel fragrance, but that's not gonna give that huge aldehyde powdery type vibe, this would be the way to go. I move on. Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Timeless, classic, iconic, year round, signature scent worthy, beautiful fragrance, huge sillage, huge projection, sexy, classy, sophisticated. This is a fragrance that I have on my channel that I consider to be the one and done. If you're not a huge fan of patchouli, I would probably say this wouldn't be for you, but it looks so beautiful on the vanity. If you can get a whiff of it, I would highly recommend it. This is the original here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. I have so many videos on my channel regarding this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is like my fifth or sixth bottle. This is a warm floral. Turkish rose, it has some patchouli, it's beautiful, it can make it anywhere. You can put it in cold weather, you can put it in summer, you can put it in snow. This fragrance can fit the bill. This right here is absolutely gorgeous. Now let's say you wanted to amplify it and make it just a tad bit sexier, not so strong or, or what would you say? Um, oh God. Not so strong in the patchouli, or not so like in your face. A softer side would be Coco Mademoiselle and that is intense. This has a beautiful creamy vanilla note in it that softens the fragrance a tad bit and helps it to be just a tad bit more sexier in my opinion. Nonetheless, still iconic, still classy and oh so beautiful. This right here is gorgeous. So yes, I have those. Now let's say that you are a person that said, I like the fragrance, I like the Coco Mademoiselle, but I don't want anything too strong or that's gonna be too in your face. I'm working close to others. What would you recommend? A couple of years ago, they came out with Coco Mademoiselle La Preve. And this was set to be the sleep fragrance for Coco Mademoiselle. This is the one that they said would be the bedtime fragrance. I have worn it to bed, I have worn it out, and it's beautiful. It's softer, it has a beautiful frosted classic bottle. I love it, and it doesn't give off the, like the stench of patchouli. It's not as sharp, it's not as strong, it's not as in your face, it's a little bit more subtle. The mister on there is finely missed evenly distributed. The distribution of the mister is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that. So if you wanted something on the softer side, but still wanted to get your hands or your nose on Coco Mademoiselle, I would recommend La Preve. I move on. Let's move into something a tad bit more sexier. Something that would be perfect for right now. Cuffin season, sexy, it can be worn out, it can be worn just chilling and cozy in the home, cuddled up by a fireplace. It's your world, it's your life, do what you choose to do. I would be talking about Allure. This right here is sensual Allure, and it's sensual for a reason. There are a few of them. Out of all of them, this is my absolute favorite. It is sexy, it is beautiful. It's definitely a year-round fragrance in my opinion, but it's really, really pretty in the colder seasons. It's got top notes of bergamot, mandarin, pink pepper, jasmine, rose, iris. It is absolutely beautiful. The dry down on this is gorgeous. When it dries down, it is so super sweet. It is not like overly sweet, but it sits close to the body, more than a skin scent, but it's definitely a beautiful, sweet, cozy type fragrance. It's like a warm, spicy. It's just gorgeous. It's gonna give you anywhere, or at least it does on me, a six to seven hour wear. It has vetiver in the base, amber, patchouli, and frankincense, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I don't reach for this more. Mm, 
Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, and I've got a memory with it. Okay, I move on, I move on. Another one that I would recommend that's simply gorgeous is number five, but it's low number five. It's more of a water fragrance. I will say that this fragrance does have a very powdery note to it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the thing, the mister on this, another one. I hope you can see this. Do you see that? Look at this, a little bit, a little bit more, or a lot. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. This right here is something that you would wear. It gets on the body, it holds it tight. It's powdery, it's very citrus in the beginning. It opens with bergamot, mandarin notes. Uh, it has ylang ylang in it, it's elegant, it's fresh. It's perfect for like a spring summer. Um, it's timeless. I would say this is one of Chanel's more modern fragrances, I would say. If you're thinking, I'm not a Chanel girl, their fragrances are too much, I don't like them, blah, blah, blah. I would say give this one a shot. Give it a try. If you like fresh, clean, bright, airy, uh, sophisticated, classy, but it's a modern vibe to it. Let's say chic, let's use that word for reference. I would say this would be a way to go. This right here, low number five, is definitely worth the whiff. I move on. Now one that's pretty and fun and upbeat and girly is this one right here. This is Chanel Chance and this is Utandra. This is the one in the pink. We have, you know, a few of them, but out of all of them, I believe this is my favorite. This and then right, oh my God, I don't know, I can't say that. But this is one of my favorite from the Chance collection. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has jasmine, pink pepper, vanilla. It's beautiful, it's very, very long lasting. It's very long lasting. Yes, it's bright, it's pretty. Another, I would say spring, summer. You can wear it year round, depending on where you live. Um, I like it better in the warmer weather, so I would definitely reach for it around that time of year, but it's really, really good. I absolutely love this. This right here is Chanel Chance, Outendre. Outendre, Outendra, Outendra. Ooh, that was kinda good, that was good. Hit the like button, that was really good, Outendra. Oh my gosh, it's good. Okay, I move on. And that is it, you guys. That is part two of the video that the camera just stopped recording on in the last video. I can definitely come back and probably do a few more parts, but I'm gonna break it up. Maybe we'll do once a month, but I definitely wanna come back and share with you my body oils, my body shimmers, my body sprays, um, a few other things that I have picked up over the years at Chanel. It is just, it just makes me happy. Chanel just does it for me. If you're a Chanel girl, you get it. And if you're not, it's totally okay. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if this is your vibe, come over and say hi on Instagram and I will see you besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.